it is all working just fine. And uh, let's get this party started. Looks like we have a lot of people online. So we saw a lot of video going on. So yeah, let's do this. Let's do this dance. I trust this is all working. All right, fantastic. Let's kind of move on. What's up, guys? Uh, yeah, this is day two. So let's just take a look at what we are doing. So if you're joining me for the first time, uh, just go to behance.net forward slash Adobe Live. And let's not forget, uh, there's a link that you can get to from there. And um, that will get you the starter file. So. Um, today is going to be cool because we're going to do some minimalist design and uh, this is like minimalist like cool tattoo type design so that's my plan. Uh, Danny Gregory it's his first live stream wanna welcome you Danny you are in the right place so uh, welcome everyone awesome okay so fantastic Let's do this right now. And uh, let me share this with you. You see the screen. I'm just pasting in that uh, um, URL like so. All right. And let's just double check. I, I just got, I'm live streaming in a couple different places, so. <coughs> Fantastic. We are live, folks. So uh, just so you know, for day one, you can watch that video. So here's geometric magic. Okay, so that's actually what I did yesterday. And we created some amazing files. Also, right up here, you should be able to jump into community chat. So we usually keep the conversation going by uh, using Discord. So uh, Dan, Jan, Dan is from Denver, Colorado. Wait a minute. That's not right. I'm from Denver, Colorado. What are you doing? I'm down here in low high, as we call it. Lower Highlands, um, probably won't give you my exact address, but everybody's doing such a good job. Look, M Divine, we created this yesterday, by the way, fantastic. Uh, and again, I won't spend too much time on this, but look at these gorgeous colors. So with simple shapes and just with good color theory practices, which we haven't even got into, you could do something amazing. So I'm so impressed by these, look at that. We worked with patterns, again, yesterday was like both beginner and then I added a little advanced in it as well. Uh, Tunix art as well. Okay, so you get the idea. Upload there and we will review them as part of your current challenge. But today we're going to do the minimalist design. So all I did is did a quick search through Pinterest or through um, good old... Um, you know, Behance, just to give you an idea of what I mean by minimalist design. It's kind of like this stuff, right? You could clearly see that as a tattoo, right? And that's what I want to make, and that's what we're going to make together today. But you can see some just gorgeous ones that you can make, right? Sort of this simple line, just make it really nice and elegant. That is our plan. So we will open up our starter file really fast. Let's get started. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Sorry that took so long, but uh, have uh, quite a people, quite a few people joining me. Feel free to say hello, uh, hello from Poland and Maja, from Poland. Good to have you here. All right. And by the way, here's just some pieces that I was just working on in preparation for this. So it's along these lines. But let's take a look at uh, this file that I've given you for free. Uh, right up here at the top, you can see just kind of some examples of what you can do, right? And we'll see how far we can get. But we're going to create a tattoo-like illustration. We're going to use the pen, pencil, and shape tools. And we're even going to be using uh, the iPad. So if I want to get this on my iPad, I could just do a save as, hold on, save as, where's my brain? Uh, and then save it to, uh, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's go right in here. First off, I don't think I've saved this. Um, let's do a save as, and then we'll save it to um, our, as a cloud document. But let's kind of continue. All right, let's get into drawing, shall we? 
Yes. The reason I included this photo, and this photo is actually in a lovely little locked layer, okay? So it's right there. We're not gonna mess it up. But this is just a good opportunity to use the pen and pencil tool to outline this hand, all right? So that's the plan. Uh, welcome, everyone. Cool. All right, so we have the pen tool over here. We also have the pencil tool, right? Pen tool is gonna be a little harder. The pencil tool is uh, right here as well. And oftentimes I actually will use the pencil tool. So if I double click on that pencil tool, double click, it'll give you the properties for it. Sometimes it's in the middle, but you can actually adjust how sensitive it is to your shaky hand moving, right? Uh, I usually like to do a little bit more smooth and then click okay. All right, Sweden's in the house, Robert. Good to have you here. All right, fantastic. So jumping in here, we're gonna check our colors. We want to not have a fill color, but we do want just a black stroke color. We can see the stroke is set to 10 points. We could drop that down to five, but these are all of our options in this control bar uh, that has our various settings, which we'll get into in a little bit. So I can come in and um, you know say for this hand right up here, uh, this thumb, I can just kind of quickly click and drag and start to draw out or outline this thumb like so. I went halfway around, okay, it's still selected, which means I can continue the line. So you're probably wondering what these little icons are that pop up next to it. I don't know if you guys are. Feel free to say something out there on, uh, on uh, Facebook as well. Let me open this up just to make sure. I'm clicking all over like a madman. Uh, okay, so not a dumb question. Hit N. That will bring bring up your pencil tool. There we go. Poland. Shanti, I see you. Alonzo, Mamie. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing that chat earlier. I apologize. Ruslan. Uh, but this is the thing. Like, it is going to be sometimes hidden because there's tools on top of tools. You actually might have the shaper tool in front of it. So go to the pencil tool or just hit N. Not, that's a, 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 an outstanding question, by the way. I usually just hit N. Now, if we zoom in here, this asterisk says, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start a new line. But if I roll over this, oh, it's gonna continue the current line. So that's what I like to do, kind of continue that current line, go down, pause, take a breath. You're like, oh, so stressful. Okay. Uh, Marla, you are not late. This is being recorded, so you are good. We'll kind of go down like that. It gets a little wonky right in here. It's like, ah, that's kind of wonky. Maybe I could use the pen tool. And sure enough, you can click right here and continue this line down using the pen tool. The pen tool is gonna like to click and drag to create that bezier point, right? And then you can click right up here. <laughs> Angela, right? It's kind of stressful, <laughs> right? Using the, the pencil tool. It's like, ah, oh, what am I gonna do? Just stop clicking, just stop clicking, it's okay. Right, but so the pen tool does give you this sort of rubber band, sort of projection of the next line, which is fantastic. So I can come up here, click and drag, curve that around, and let's do this. Let's get, let's continue this little party. And it's just gonna depend on what you're comfortable with and what the shape is, is gonna determine what tool to use, right? A lot of people are actually pretty uh, pretty used to using uh, the pen tool, but again, it's, it's probably, you've probably been using it a while. Yousef from Morocco, good to have you here. Um, Wales is in the house, awesome. So right here, I could stop, I could continue this, I could just do a number of things. To be honest with you, I haven't decided what I want to do, <laughs> right? Uh, I think I'll probably continue this, right? Let's just continue this just for fun. We'll continue this line. We won't worry about what's happening with that uh, current finger there, but we'll just kind of add and contour around this hand. And then we'll go ahead and add to that finger. Uh, by the way, I, I went and pressed and I, I I, I actually placed it down. It's actually still selected, so I could use my arrow keys to move it around. Another thing I could do is if I accidentally click right over here, oh shoot. All right, let's click, let's continue this line. Let's say I accidentally click right here. Oh no, I didn't mean to put it clear out there. Before I let up, uh, 
on my mouse, I can hold the space bar and then the space bar will pick it up for you, right? And this goes for other vector tools in our lovely toolbox as well. What's up, Adam Ignat? Yeah, I'm not gonna get a tattoo. <laughs> this just kind of satisfies my, my little tattoo itch, I guess. <laughs> and I just like it as a style. And I thought it's a perfect sort of example for um, just learning the pen tools, like taking an image, outlining it, wouldn't you say, Anna? And I also want to know how the cocktails were. <laughs> All right, how to connect the lines? Just select them and then you can connect those lines. We'll kind of bring this down like so. Right, click there and now it's connected. You'll have this situation, you're like, oh no, I didn't want that point. Oh, I'll try to click on it. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. What that means is you're gonna have to use, you're gonna have to be able to select use a uh, selection tool to select the points that you want to edit. So going in here, we'll use the direct selection tool and then we'll come out here and now we can directly select that point. Oh, were they good? Okay, good. I know they were probably small bottles, um, but anyways, just wanted to say that we appreciate you and we hope to see you soon. Okay, Anna. I haven't tried, I actually ordered them as well, but I have not tried the, the cocktails yet. All right, so there we are. Let's zoom out. That stroke is kind of thick. Here's another thing you can do. Uh, so keep in mind that this is, the photo will just get in the way. It's kind of hard to see the photo, or excuse me, the outline, my, my, my line uh, with the photo in the way. So you could always select that photo. Again, it's typically locked, but just go ahead and um, unlock it. You could select that photo and I typically go right up here and you know, it's like crank that down by 50%. Oh, there's my lines. Lock it again. Be always aware of what line you're on. Uh, oh, Katarina's from Serbia. Brian, Utah's in the house. So good to see. Great thing is, is again, this is, this is all editable. We're working on the computer, so nothing's ever really permanent, right? It's so nice. This wonky spot right there, right? Let's hit the minus uh, button on your keyboard and then I'll just like remove that. So you do what you need to. Uh, a lot of times you'll get used to hit using these shortcuts, right? As we roll over this, we could hit V. It's gonna give me my selection tool. A will give me my direct selection tool. And then another one you guys probably know of, I know Wade knows this. Um, and honestly, like it's hard for me to find these tools cause I'm so used to using the shortcuts, but the anchor point tool is also your third, I would say it's your third selection tool, uh, direct uh, selection tool, direct selection tool, anchor point tool. You'll do a shift C for that. What does that do? Well, that enables you to go in here and just click on it and change that from a Bezier point to maybe just a straight line. Okay, so that gives you that sort of control. We can go in like that. We can use our arrow keys. You guys get the idea. Let's get on with this. Ah, time goes so fast and I have a thousand things to show you. And I've only shown like three. Oh man, um, maybe we could fill that with a color. I usually will not fill it with a color just yet. Maybe we'll make that line a little thinner. I'm gonna, if you're, okay, so I don't have my iPad open, but I can use Illustrator on the iPad and use Apple Pencil. If you're lucky enough to have like a, a Wacom, I absolutely love my Wacom. I'll hit N for pencil, and then I can go in and just use my Wacom and draw up, shoop, shoop. It's just much more natural for me doing like so. Let's add a little there. It's okay, folks, it's gonna be fine. Let's add, you know, maybe a couple lines there. Maybe we wanna bring this down like so. And there we have all of those lovely lines. And now we can work on our fills. Utah's in the house. Let me know how everybody's doing. Let's change this to white. Okay, so jump in there. Change that to white. Change this finger to white. Bam, there we are. Uh, did I have other ones? Oh yeah, maybe this one. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Like kind of have our first hand. I'm gonna take this. Uh... Ooh, thank you, ooh, come on. Uh, hold down the Alt key or Option key if you're on a, a Mac to uh, switch to the Anchor Point tool. Okay, cool. Let's group this. So Object, Command, G. We're gonna take this and then we're just gonna do a copy and paste. 
We're gonna take this, we're gonna rotate it. Yeah, let's just do like this, let's do this. Magic hands. We did just one hand, we're turning them into two. We could do something like that. We could turn off uh, that background image and start to put something in this person's hands, right? Let's throw, let's throw a, I don't know, do we wanna put a sun in there? Do we wanna put a moon in here? Remember, I'm making a tattoo. Uh, uh, ch -ch -ch. All right, Marsha, are you baking bread enough for all of us? I hope so. I bet you that's, that just seems awesome. Ooh, Burundi's in the house, Tim. Welcome, Mississippi, cool. All right, so a couple different ways to subtract images. I have these two selected right here. If you go to your properties panel, your properties panel is, is smart enough to serve up the options that you need based on what you have selected. So right over here, hey, find those paths, unite them, maybe subtract them like so, and there we have like our moon, okay? So there's our moon. We can get more crazy, by the way. I'll just draw a bunch of circles. Let's get a little crazy in here just for fun. Shall we? We'll make them smaller on the ends like that. Uh, you probably know where I'm going with this. Let's actually select all of these and just, I'm gonna get rid of just the, the fill. But um, now we can even use something like the shape builder. There you are, lovely shape builder tool, selecting that. Yes, oh, Brian, you're right. Uh, I, Illustrator for iPad is awesome. Radle repeats awesome. It's just so nice working with Apple Pencil uh, and Illustrator on the iPad. It's kind of changed things for me, which is awesome. So now we can go in and we can start to just click and drag and start to combine these shapes. So we might want to combine some and maybe not others, right? And that's all I'm doing is jumping in, combining these, combining these like that. Okay, let's combine these. Let's combine these two. Right, and you can start to see what I'm doing here is I'm just making a nice cloud. Isn't this so satisfying? I think this is very fun to work with. It's just like very satisfying. Dragging these over like so. Da 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 da. Right, and I'm just getting different shapes. Um, I don't know if I'm crazy about that line. That's okay. Let's just work on this a little bit more. And let's not spend too much time on it, okay? Is that all right? We could do something like that. And there's like our abstract clouds. Maybe we have a sun back there. Love the shape builder tool. Awesome. Yeah, this is kind of funky. Now that I look at it, all I had to do is glance away. And when I looked back at it, I'm like, oh, this is so bad. <laughs> let's, let's join those shapes, right? And uh, let's take a look at this because we want to make sure this is filled with white. Okay, a oh, thousand more things I want to do. Um, gosh, let's group these together. Let's make a sun really fast. I'm going to go really fast. This is for all you pros out there. I know there's plenty out there. Here's my sun. Let's just go ahead and duplicate this circle. Let's make the sun's rays, right? We could do that a number of ways. I'm going to do this stroke. We're going to give it a dashed line. We're going to crank up the width of this. So let's make this 200. Boom, there we are. That's a little too much. 100. Right, and uh, let's change this to 10. And change this to, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Let's make that nice and even. But now I can make this like 20. I'm basically making these rays of light just for fun. And this is all based on a dashed line. Are you not impressed? You've probably seen me do this trick before. Happens to be one of my favorite ones. And let's expand appearance. Hey, yeah, let's do that, do that, get rid of this. There we are. Again, we're just having fun today. I wanna make sure my line thickness should be set to something like five. Anyways, there's my rays of light. You guys get the idea. Let's kind of kick off these ends. That's just one way of doing things. We are just making some fun, minimalist designs. I'm not worried about the center at all. Go 
because that's going to go behind the circle. There you go. Now there's your sun. All right. Oh, I'm glad you like that. Ola says I, I blew their mind, hopefully in a good way. But this is so nice, right? Doing this. There is more we can do. We can do so much. Let's make a let's make an eye. Let's do that. Let's take these. Let's go like that, right? Shape builder. I did that a second ago, right? This time I want to subtract. So using the shape builder, you can not only add, but also subtract. Holding down the option key or alt key if you're on a PC, click and drag over the parts that you don't want. Bam, bam, there we go. There's our eye. Throw a little eyeball in there, why not? Right, let's throw one more in there for kind of like the center of the eye like that. Let's get fancy, let's do the top eye lid. I'm getting all fancy on you. And throwing a lot at you, by the way. <laughs> so right in here, uh, width tool. I don't know what we did without the width tool, by the way. But let's go in there for this top. Oops. For this top line, let's just make that uh, kind of building out that eyelash. That's what we're doing right there. Okay. So from here, I could maybe make this all black. And then this one needs to be filled with white and maybe no stroke, but you get the idea. Okay, just kind of playing around with that eye. Let's, so much to show you and I'm going so fast, it's crazy. Let's draw out a simple line. You're like, oh, this will be easy. It's just a simple line, huh? Right, yeah, you would be correct. But we wanna do some cool arrows. So rather than trying to hunt down an arrow, Go to your strokes panel just by clicking on stroke and let's move this over so we can see it. Let's go to stroke. Oh, sorry. Click on that underlined and right down here, we can add arrowheads. So we'll scroll down. I'm gonna grab this like arrow 14, right? Maybe flip it, something like that and adjust the scale. Let's lock this together. But obviously these are your you know, arrowheads that you can add to your design like so. All right, you guys like that? All right, you ready for this? I wanna duplicate this and have it go all the way around. Let's actually do it this way because this is also introduced in Illustrator on the iPad. Let's do a radial uh, repeat for this arrow. Boom, there we are radial repeat for this lovely arrow. Let's change this to white. Send that to the back. Send this to the back. But right in here, what I did for this is I went to repeat and radial. These are all brand new. Um, yeah, I'm going fast because I'm, I'm, I, I had a Red Bull and then a pre-workout. <laughs> and then I went to the gym. So I'm all hopped up on caffeine and vitamin B. <laughs> right. But uh, keep in mind, you can have that radial and then you can make it dance and do all sorts of fun things. Right. Control this any way we want and all that good stuff. Maybe increase the number of them more, less. You guys get the idea. Uh, but yeah, feel free. Go ahead. Make something cool. Uh, kind of like I was all over the map here, but you can see it's going to be the start of something amazing, uh, is my hope. And uh, make something cool, add some color to it, and then post, oops, not there, to Discord. Okay, post it here. That's what I'm going to do in a second. And uh, thanks so much for joining me, uh, Michelle and Marla and Ola over on uh, Facebook and Jordan and Christelle as well. Um, yeah, I never do need this pre-stream energy boost, uh, but have fun, make something cool, post it to, uh, Discord, and I will be posting mine to Instagram, so watch out for that. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And again, just to remind you, Discord, here's the URL. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Feel free to hit me up. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I don't even have my uh, info, but I'll close. I'll leave with a, a slide that has my info, um, which is where I'll post uh, to uh, Instagram later.
Thanks, Wade's in the house. Good to see you, Wade. Alejandro, Izzy, Emma, Clarissa. Stick around. Uh, and by the way, if you're not on Behance, go to Behance.net forward slash Adobe Live. And uh, we got a full schedule that's actually right below me on that. But it's all about brand identity. Coming up next with Corey Hall. Thanks so much, everybody. Appreciate you. We'll see you soon.